everyone, I'm Kelsey from Wearable Whisperer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Fitbit Charge 4. So you'll want to open up your Fitbit app, and assuming you're already logged in, you'll go ahead and tap on your profile picture in the upper left hand corner. And then you'll see set up a device. And here in this scrollable list, you'll want to find charge four and then tap on it. And here it just says set up, so we'll tap on that. And here we have some privacy information. If you agree, go ahead and tap accept. And then it says charge your charge four. Let your device charge during setup. The pins on the charger must lock securely with the port on the back of the device. If your device is charging, you'll see a smiley face or battery on the screen. And then we're given a little animated GIF showing us what we need to do. So what you need to do is these are the charging pins on the back of your Charge 4. On the charging cable that came in the box, the one with the gray portion here, you'll see two gold charging pins. So you'll want to align those with the charging pins on the tracker. And in order to get the tracker to fit, you need to press on the bottom here so that the little clasps expand. So press, line up. And then what usually happens is I don't get this in perfectly. So what I've found is I need to kind of wiggle it until I hear a click. Okay, so I think that worked. Oh, there we go. That second time was actually better as a louder click. And now if I try to move the tracker inside the charger, it's not going anywhere. So on the other side, you have a USB type A plug. You can plug that into a compatible power source. I'm going to use a external portable hard drive, hard drive power bank and just plug that in. And I heard a vibration on my charge four and it's telling me about going to setup, which I don't need to do. So I think this is a little bit misleading. If your device is charging and you haven't set it up yet, you're not gonna see this smiley face of battery. But I think the first time you do, this is not the first time I've plugged it into the charger, so you will see a smiley face the very first time. All right, so what happens is I'm actually going to take this out. You don't need to, but I want to show you what's going on on the screen. So keep yours charging, and I'm going to tap on next. So now it's searching, my phone is searching for charge four and it actually found it fairly quickly. It connected to it faster than I could even talk. <laughs> and you now have a four digit display on your screen. So you'll have a different number most likely and you'll enter that number into your phone. So let's go ahead and enter the number. All right, so now it says connecting to Fitbit. And this is all part of the waiting game to set up your tracker. My phone's an old phone, so for some reason it keeps dimming the display, even though it's not on low power mode. So as usual, I like to do these videos real time. You can skip ahead if you want, I'll put timestamps down below, but it just kind of gives you the actual experience of setting up this device, which is not as easy as it ideally should be, but again, they are two different companies trying to have hardware and software work together, so anyway, there was a check mark on the Charge 4 screen, which is good. On my iPhone, it's now saying Bluetooth pairing request, charge four, would like to pair with your iPhone. You definitely want to do that. So tap on pair. Allow charge four to display your iPhone notifications. 
when this accessory is connected, all the notifications you receive will appear on its display. So if you want to receive notifications from your phone on your Charge 4, go ahead and tap Allow. If you do not, you can tap Don't Allow. You can also change the setting in the app in the future. I'm going to go ahead and tap Allow because I want notifications. And here it's saying Set up your Charge 4. This process normally takes several minutes to complete. Make sure to keep your Charge 4 charging and near your phone until the update is done. So let's go ahead and tap Update Now. All right, so we've got setting up charge four. We've got a little circle moving progress thing. It says updating 0% and nothing is on the screen at the moment. Check out the awesome things. Oh, okay, we have a 1% updating, so progress, there we go. Check out the awesome things you can do with your charge four. So we've got Track activity, and I'll just note here at the bottom, it does say you can use your phone during the setup, but keep it close to your charge for. So track activity, if I tap on that, it says track activity, activity impacts your goals. Charge 4 works with the Fitbit app to track and improve your activity. Steps. See how many steps you take daily and set a goal to challenge yourself. Distance. Your steps are converted into distance, so see how far you've traveled. Floors. Get credit for taking the stairs or hiking up a hill. Calories. Your device tracks how many calories you burned. Use the Fitbit app to log calories from food. Now one note about calories is Fitbits show you your total calories burned. And total calories burned is made up of the active calories you burn through exercise, but also the passive calories that your body burns just by being alive. So one of the most common questions or confusions about Fitbit is you wake up in the morning and you look at your app for your sleep and it says you've already burned 1200 calories. Well that's how many calories your body burned during sleep. That's not how many active calories you burned. Fitbit doesn't really give you that number on a daily basis. It tells you on a per workout basis but that's just something to know. Um, also, active zone minutes. This is a new feature that was launched with the Charge 4. It says count the time spent in your target heart rate zones to know if you meet the expert recommended 150 minutes of moderate activity per week. And looks like the, um, the update went to 100% while we were checking this out. And there is a progress bar on the Charge 4 screen. And you can see that it's moving from left to right and it's about maybe 40-50% right now. So we'll continue on looking at this. We got exercise with heart rate and GPS. So use heart rate tracking to keep tabs on your workout intensity. The built-in GPS can map your exercise route even if you don't carry a phone. Real-time pace and distance. Built-in GPS tracks pace and distance during runs and rides. See an exercise map in the Fitbit app. Goal track for 20 plus exercises. Set a goal for a specific exercise. Your device tracks your progress and stats while you're on the go. Easy exercise tracking. Your device has smart track technology to automatically recognize when you've worked out. 24-7 heart rate tracking. Keep a pulse on how fast your heart is beating and see trends. Charge 4 tracks your heart rate 24-7 to help you exercise better. And active zone minutes. Feel a buzz from your device when you reach your target heart rate zones during exercise. It's a sign you're earning minutes. So I'm just noticing here that we've got a full progress bar, it seems, on the Charge 4 display, although it still says installing. So let's talk about sleep tracking and score. So it says Charge 4 gives you data without disturbance. All you have to do is wear it to bed and wake up to new stats. Sleep stages. View your time spent asleep in light, deep, and REM sleep from the Fitbit app. Sleep score. Get to know your night with a daily sleep quality score. See all your sleep stats at a glance. Sleep mode and silent alarm. Your device has a sleep mode that allows you to dim the display and silence all calls and texts. Set a silent alarm and wake to a gentle vibration on your wrist. 
All right, so I just heard a vibration and saw a check mark on my charge four. Not sure if that means it's finished or if it has to go through one more progress bar. I guess I'll go ahead and look at notifications because it still says installing here on my phone. So notifications at a glance. Get notifications for calls, texts, and meeting invites. Plus send quick replies to texts Android only. Oh, there we go. So our phone says charge four is ready. So I'll click quickly go through pay from your wrist. Fitbit Pay lets you pay on the go, so you can leave that wallet at home. Payments are fast and secure. Merchants never see your card number and you still get bank protection. Add your cards. Add credit or debit cards in the Fitbit app. Look for the symbol. Fitbit Pay works anywhere that accepts contactless payments. Tap and pay. Hold your watch next to the terminal and get confirmation and go. And stylish clock faces. Charge 4 comes with different clock faces to match your mood, lifestyle, or look. All later show you the different clock faces that are available. So let's go ahead and tap continue. All right, it says try it on. It's the moment your wrist has been waiting for. Wear your device loosely enough to slide up and down your wrist. During workouts, secure the band so that it lays flat two to three finger widths above your wrist bone. You can go ahead and try yours on. I wanna kinda easily show you the screen, so I'm gonna keep mine on the table for now, but go ahead and Tap next when you're ready. All right, so swiping up reveals your stats like steps, sleep, and more. So let's go ahead and try. So you have to have the display on first. So I'm gonna double tap to activate the display. Okay, and then swiping up gives me the stats. So now I can see the battery percentage is at 55. Steps says 10. See, this is the calories burned. It already says 1,021 calories burned, even though I have not worn this today. And then at the bottom, we have the active zone minutes. We have floors climbed and so on. So floors climbed, active zone minutes, total calories burned, distance, resting heart rate, that looks like current heart rate that's grayed out. This is the steps for the hour for the reminders to move. Total steps for the day. All right, and then you swipe down and it brings you back to the clock face. So I'm gonna head and tap next. It says press button, takes you back to the previous screen or to the clock face. So go ahead and try that. If I press the button. Then I feel that little vibration feedback and it goes back to the clock face. Okay, I'm gonna get next. It says swipe down to show the latest texts and calls. So if I swipe down here, it says nothing new here, you're all caught up. That's because I haven't received any notifications. And then you can either swipe up to get back to the clock face or like they say, press the button, whichever you prefer. So I'll tap next. Press and hold the button. Controls to turn do not disturb, turn on do not disturb, screen wake or other modes. So it's kind of like a quick, a quick setting. So I'm gonna press and hold. All right, so it looks like it took me to payments. And then if I swipe over, I get DND, which is do not disturb and screen wake. I believe this is where the sleep mode should be also. Go ahead and tap next. Swipe left reveals your apps, then press button to go back. Okay, so from the clock face, swipe left to reveal apps. Looks like we have exercise, agenda, relax, timers, alarms, weather, and settings. So if I push the button back once, it takes me back to the clock face. Okay, tap on next. Product care tips. Clean your band and wrist regularly with a soap-free cleanser. 
If your charge 4 gets wet, remove and dry completely after your activity. Take occasional breaks from wearing your charge 4. If your skin gets irritated, be sure to remove the tracker. Charge 4 has a small hole for the altimeter. Don't insert any items into the hole as you can damage the device. Tap product care tips for more info. So you can either get more info about product care or tap next like me. And now it says all set. Now get moving and make every moment count. So you can either learn about charge four, which you can also do later on in the app, or I'm gonna go ahead and press done. So here's their little call to action for Fitbit Premium. They currently extended their free trial to 90 days. Now just to be clear, you can get your sleep score without premium. This is just, I guess, showing you what went into the calculation of your sleep score. You can get programs, wellness reports, mindful sessions. You can see more premium features. It's currently $10 a month or $80 a year. Uh, for the free trial, I do believe you have to give a credit card. So it's not ideal, but make sure you cancel before at least 24 hours before the trial period ends if you do want a free trial but don't want to get charged so anyway if you don't want that there is x here at the top left to click out of that there you go that's setting up your fitbit charge 4 if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up down below also consider subscribing if you want to watch more fitbit charge 4 videos let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the charge 4 and otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.